Hi, how's it going? It's been a while, about a, over a month since I last uh, made a video. Okay, it's October 10 and I uh, just wanted to make a brief uh, video, tell you how I'm going. I told you before, I think last video, I had a, been having a bit of an injury, a thing called the Haglund's deformity. Well, that seems to be fading. I, I have been doing stretching, but seems to fix it in the first couple of days, but then it came back again. But now, for no apparent reason, I've been doing some good speed work, and that was what was aggravating it before, but uh, that seems not to be bothering it. Uh, so, I don't know. I really don't understand these injuries. Sometimes, no matter what you do, they just come good by themselves. So, just be patient. And uh, anyway, I've been, like I said, I've been doing some faster sessions. I'm doing speed work now on Tuesday and Thursday and getting starting to get my long runs in with, with uh, a bit of pace at the end. I've got a, I've got a running partner now, my mate Vince Bosco. We've been doing like Thursdays and Sundays together. So a Thursdays type of speed session and Sunday a long, long run with a fast finish. It's really handy and helpful to have uh, someone with you. A lot of the times when you're running by yourself, the long runs, uh, I mean, I've always run by myself, but it just, when you've, you're tired and you don't really wanna, you don't have to, um, you think you don't have to run or it's easy to give up when you're with someone and they're sort of keeping the same pace, you can just, as a race, just move along with them and it just makes it so much easier. So if you do, if you have a chance to run with somebody at least once or twice a week for your sessions, that's really helpful. It's helping me. Okay, so hopefully if I can keep uh, uninjured and keep this consistency up, I should have a good season. I've got uh, my race schedule starts, I think about November 8th. I've got a 10K. Another one, November, yeah, November 8th. Another one in November 20, end of November, another 10K. I got a half marathon early December. Uh, and then, what else? And then early January, another 10K. And end of January, I got that Osaka half. Vince is going to run that with me. We're going to try to make that a sort of goal race. It's a fast race if the weather's good and the wind's at our back should be fun. Uh, so what's that? End of January, half K. February, I'm not sure. Did I book a race in February? I think I've got, yeah, maybe that I'll do a 10K, like a hilly 10K, uh, a local race. And then my my marathon's in, I got into the uh, Yokohama Marathon, which will be the first time. Uh, I'll talk about that in turn. It's, uh, it seems like a good race it's a big race like I think it's uh, participation wise probably the third uh, biggest in Japan after Tokyo and Osaka it's only the second time they've run this um, so it should be well organized last year they made a bit of a mistake it was a bit short but I'm sure they fixed that this problem uh, that problem this year and any else anything else um, any other problems they've had uh, but it looks like a nice race goes up onto the highway which is a little bit of a problem with the wind I think but uh, it's not not a huge section maybe about 5k out of the total uh, and that will be it basically for my season I think I'll do one 10k in April and then have an easy summer but I think with the training I have I'm getting from um, sweat at the moment uh, from Sean Williams, it looks really good, and if I just can keep it up without being injured, I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna PB this season. I've had a, as you know, pretty average uh, last few years, but uh, things are picking up, so I feel really good. The, uh, you know, how it's sort of exciting when you can run without pain again. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll uh, try to be more consistent with my blog too, and, uh, uh, upload more often okay all right see you maybe in the next uh, three or four weeks okay
with some good news, I hope. Bye-bye.